Welcome back to Holistic Tips with Nicole. If you'd like to learn how to make this delicious, warm and cozy potato onion soup with all organic ingredients that will help keep your immune system strong this winter, then keep on watching. So first we're gonna start by chopping five medium-sized organic sweet onions. You can chop them any size you want because they'll end up getting pureed at the end anyway. Grab a big bowl and probably a box of tissues because it's a lot of onion. Next we'll chop two organic shallots and add them to the big bowl with the onion. Then we'll peel five small organic potatoes. These are the ones I like to use because they come out nice and creamy. Again, you don't have to chop them in any particular way, but do try to make them approximately the same size so that they cook through around the same time. Next, we'll add some organic cold pressed extra virgin olive oil to a Dutch oven or big pot and we'll put it on a medium flame. Then we'll add three ounces of organic butter, <laughs> not very gracefully done here, and allow the butter to melt down. In the meantime, in a large saucepan, you want to add seven cups of organic chicken broth and place it on low heat just to warm it up. Next we'll add all the chopped onion and shallots to the olive oil butter mix and cook over medium heat until they're caramelized, about 25 minutes. Just make sure to stir frequently so they don't stick to the bottom. Once they look like this, you can add the potatoes. Then we'll add a half a cup of white cooking wine about a teaspoon of cooking salt, and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then you'll continue to cook for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, you can prepare your fresh organic thyme by removing the sprigs from about three stems. So now you're ready to add the chicken broth. Just be careful because seven cups is a bit heavy and you may need two hands like me. Then you're going to add your fresh organic thyme and cook over medium low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes to cook the potatoes. Once the potatoes have cooked through, you're going to use a high powered blender like the Vitamix I have here, or a regular blender will work just fine. Just keep in mind that you may need to cool off the soup a bit before putting it in a regular blender. The Vitamix can handle the heat, so we're going to ladle the soup a little at a time until it's all completely pureed. Then you're going to pour the contents into a very large bowl to keep in your fridge so you can enjoy this delicious immune boosting soup for the rest of the week. Or just fill up a bowl and you're ready to go. Look at that consistency. Perfection. Thanks so much for watching this video. 
please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to continue to see more holistic content. See you next time.